Understanding Shadowed Memories, an English Language Exploration. Hello everyone, in today's video, we're diving into the intriguing world of English phrases. Our focus today is on understanding the phrase, shadowed memories. This expression isn't just about the words but the vivid imagery and emotions they evoke. So, let's unravel the mystery and beauty behind these words. Shadowed memories is a poetic and somewhat metaphorical phrase. At its core, it refers to memories that are obscured or partially hidden, much like objects in a shadow. These memories are not completely forgotten but are not fully clear or present in one's mind. They can be like distant echoes of past events, not entirely visible but definitely a part of us. To understand this phrase better, let's break it down. Shadowed. This word implies something is in the shadow, partially hidden, or obscured from view. In our context, it suggests memories that are not fully clear or somewhat forgotten. Memories, these are recollections of past experiences or events. Everyone has memories, but how clear they are can vary greatly. When combined, these words create a vivid description of memories that are there but not fully accessible, like objects seen in dim light. This phrase is often used in a more literary or poetic context. It's not common in everyday conversation but might appear in literature, such as in novels or poems where the author wants to convey a sense of nostalgia or forgotten past. Speeches or formal presentations, to add a dramatic or thoughtful touch. Songs, where songwriters use evocative language to express complex emotions. Let's see how shadowed memories can be used in sentences. 1. As he walked through his old neighborhood, a flood of shadowed memories came rushing back. 2. The old photograph evoked shadowed memories of her childhood. 3. He tried to recall the event, but it was lost in a maze of shadowed memories. Thank you for joining me in exploring the beautiful and complex phrase, shadowed memories. I hope this video has shed light on its meaning and usage. Remember, language is not just about words, but the imagery and emotions they convey. Keep learning and exploring, and I'll see you in the next video.